Mamma mia! A wooden boy! Hey! <gasps> Pinocchio! Ladies, gentlemen, and puppets of all ages, with Lies of P now officially released and available for all, I'm sure those of you who have been waiting for this game have fully begun diving into it now, and you may be surprised early on to find out that some of the starting bosses are genuinely no joke. They can really pack a punch and take quite a bit of killing too, so you may find yourself with a classic goal of the Souls-like genre. How do you level up as quickly as possible this early in the game? And so today I've got a nice couple of answers to that exact question. There is nowhere that you can really XP farm in chapter one, not that you should really need it considering that is basically the tutorial, but there is a reasonably effective one in chapter two and an improvement on that XP farm in chapter three, so we'll be talking about both of these ergo farms today. Before that though, let's talk about a couple of important things to mention for this specifically, because they actually both significantly increase the efficiency of any kind of XP farm in this game as a whole. The first of these is the moon phase pocket watch item. This is something that you simply get as a part of the story, and when you first see it, you may misunderstand its purpose and not really use it. What this does is send you to your most recently used Stargazer or the Hotel, your choice. It respawns enemies and fills up your health and pulse cells like you use the Stargazer itself, and you actually get to keep your Ergo. Usually an item like this in a Souls-like game would come at the cost of your currency, you would drop it on the floor, you'd lose it entirely, but this game, it doesn't do that, which is actually great for the idea of farming XP and Ergo, because it means that we can take longer routes while we're farming and reset using this item to still be efficient rather than having to stick to shorter loops or more circular paths. As a result, we can just follow a nice dense line of enemies that you can kill relatively safely, but still quite quickly, just like a line of dominoes, and then just reset it from the end, no problem, by using the pocket watch there. The second big thing to mention then is when upgrading your character using the P organ system once you have it unlocked, one of the applicable upgrades to each phase is increases ergo upon eliminating an enemy. This does exactly what it says on the tin, it increases the ergo that you get from any enemy that you kill by 10%, so obviously even if you aren't going out of your way to farm ergo, this will still increase your leveling speed just on the whole, but it becomes exponentially better when paired with an already solid ergo farm. So let's start diving into the farms themselves. Starting off with the earlier one then, in chapter 2, you will eventually reach the City Hall and get, well, the City Hall Stargazer point for you to teleport to. From the Stargazer forwards, there is just a nice dense line of high value enemies worth about 90 ergo apiece, 99 if you have the little upgrade in your P organ. They are easy to go backstab fishing with, just circle them until they commit to any specific attack and then find the sweet spot to slap them in the back. And you can take them just one at a time while doing this and still moving pretty quickly through. The first one on the path is an easy jump attack kill down from the high ground, then the one in front of that starts facing away from you which is very easily exploited for obvious reasons. Around the corner from there you will see a dog puppet. This one you just sort of have to straight up fight, there's no real technique to it, but it shouldn't cause you too much trouble, at least not by itself. Then at the top of the stairs, there is another one of the guard puppets. Rotate around him until the backstab option presents itself, then a few feet away, there is another guard puppet. Give him a similar treatment by just waiting for the backstab and then taking it when you can. Then head into the building that is up the stairs in front of there to see two more of these exact puppets and do, well, the exact same thing to them. Look for the backstabs, take them when they present themselves, and then after that, you want to use your moon phase pocket watch to reset. This will send you back to the City Hall Stargazer once more, reset the enemies, make them alive, reset your health, and then you can instantly just walk forward and repeat this loop again while still having all the ergo that you got from the previous runs. My runs here aren't perfect, they are decent enough, and I'd say on average by following this path and this strategy you can get yourself a really solid 500 ergo or so per minute, which if we extrapolate out makes it around 30,000 ergo per hour, or around 33,000 if you have the P organ upgrade that I talked about earlier. And again, this is in chapter 2. This is incredibly early in the game. Only a couple of difficult enemies even exist before this point, not even the first proper proper boss, so you can use this to farm up even if you get stuck at that early on, or even if you just want to be stronger before even thinking about the possibility of getting stuck. Again, the trick here is to just take advantage of the way that they are set up just sort of like dominoes. Jump attack them, backstab them, and do your best to take the fights one at a time while still always moving forwards. Which sounds like it should be a mutually exclusive term, but it definitely does work in this setting to do both, as strange as that is. Then secondly today we have our improved early experience farm, but 
you can't do this one until you are in chapter 3 of the story, so you have to get a little bit further in first. This one is started at the Workshop Union Culvert Stargazer location within chapter 2, down below the main factory itself. If you follow the way that I move here, you will find why this one is so good very quickly. As you walk up this ramp, you enter a tunnel where every few seconds, a giant ball of flaming puppet parts welded together comes streaming down, mowing down whatever is in its way, whether it be friend or foe. As you walk up here, there will also be some pretty beefy mannequin types that will try to attack you while you avoid the fireballs. But if you move correctly, you can get them to just sort of follow you and get trapped being run over by the fireballs repeatedly until they die, which will give you all the ergo that you get for killing them without you even having to actually hit the majority of the enemies here. There is one enemy right where you're walking up the ramp to get to the area in the first place, then if you just walk towards where the ball is coming down from in tiny increments, sticking to the safe zones and only moving when you can without getting hit, getting the attention of more of these puppets and drawing them into the line of fire one at a time, and you can manually kill one or two of them to speed it up a little bit, but part of the beauty of this one is that you don't actually have to engage in combat at all. The speed is mostly based around the damage that the environment is doing to these enemies, and so this is mostly just free ergo, honestly. Once you've defeated the group of three puppets here that are in a little cluster, there is one more puppet a bit further on who busts out of the wall that you can kill manually while the others are dying to the fireballs behind you, just for making good use of that extra time. Then you can use your moon phase pocket watch to reset back down to the stargazer, again resetting and respawning all the enemies in the area, as well as resetting your health, but letting you keep the ergo you collected, which again is just so exceptional. As if the ease of the second farm wasn't enough though, this one also even gives you a higher yield of ergo than the first one. With this path done this way, executed reasonably efficiently, it will get you around 600 ergo per minute, which extrapolates out to about 36,000 ergo per hour if you were to just run this on loop, and if you have that P organ upgrade that I mentioned earlier, that makes it 40,000 ergo per hour, which is fantastic. That's just far more than you should ever need to have this early in the game, so these spots definitely do the job. That's pretty much it today then, everyone, just the answer to the question of what is the best way to farm ergo early on in Lies of P. The big things that I do want to reiterate at the end here are that P organ upgrades that increase your ergo that you get per kill. I didn't have that in the footage that you're watching, and so the numbers could be even a little bit higher than this because it all comes from eliminating enemies, but that bonus is worth 10%, so just take the numbers up and by 10% that you're seeing on the screen, and that's what you'll get. If you want to level quickly, this upgrade will be invaluable to you, and you should get it as early as possible because it will pay off more long term the earlier that you get it. This is sort of how this type of thing works. Other than that, there's just the beauty that is the moon phase pocket watch and the fact that it does not reset your ergo, make you drop it, anything like that, because in pretty much any other Souls like type of game, that item would do that. But I really appreciate that it doesn't here because, as weird as it is to say, currency farming is just sort of a part of this genre, and making the currency farm in the game more engaging and enjoyable is definitely a positive move in my book. And this definitely does do that, letting you take more fun routes and cause just a little bit more chaos before having to loop back. Past that, we had the 500 XP per minute farm that you can do in Chapter 2 for a nice big early boost, and the 600 XP per minute farm that you gain access to in Chapter 3 that doesn't even require much manual input as far as the combat itself at least. I hope you get good use out of these tips if this is something that you're looking to do in this game. After all, there's nothing wrong with piling on a few more stats here and there if something starts to trip you up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to know more and better ergo farming locations a bit further in the game, and if so, we will do another one of these later on. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye